from people from across the state evacuating, that means a lot of family pets and other animals have to find shelter as well. That's so news for Jack's anchor. Amanda DeVoe is joining us live from the Jacksonville Equestrian Center where they're experiencing a first this morning, Amanda. Oh, they are. I mean, they are reaching capacity here. And so it's very important for people to realize that pets, they need a place to stay while the hurricane is in motion. So I do want to bring in Candace Barnes. You are the executive director of the Jacksonville Equestrian yes. Center. Yes, assistant director. Assistant yes. director. All right. Good morning. So could you talk about how you all have prepared to bring in um, these horses and animals? Yeah, absolutely. So we've been open since Monday. Well, actually Sunday night. Um, so we open up our facility from anywhere from down south or anywhere that's flooding. Um, so they can come and have refuge for their horses, dogs, small um, livestock. So they can ride out the storm and be safe. All right. How many um, horses are here currently? Um, we're sitting at about 212, but as the day goes by, we're supposed to get up to 395. Um, so we're going to be at capacity by this afternoon. And you were telling me that this this hasn't happened in quite some time. Yeah, no. So with every storm and things like that, even like our summer storms, we get some evacuees from flooding. But um, since 2017, this is the first time since then that we've been at capacity. Wow. Wow. So that just shows you the severity that Milton is probably going to come have in our area. And I know that you also mentioned that there are several um, owners of these horses that are coming from different parts of the state. Yeah, so we've had people trying to get to us for a few days now from Tampa, Fort Lauderdale, um, the high impact areas. They're trying to get to us as fast as they can. Obviously, roads, traffic, gas, um, things like that are, you know, things they've got to work around, but we're trying to get them here. Right. And I know that you also mentioned that it's not just horses that you all are helping with shelter. There are other animals, too. Yep. So we've been in contact with animal control from different counties. Um, we've opened up our facility if they need to for shelters to bring those animals so they can ride out the storm and also be safe. Um, a lot of people don't know that horses are pets, just like uh, dogs and cats. Um, they need a place to go, too. Yeah. And so I think that's really important because I know the mayor mentioned the, the horses that were coming here that were evacuated. And so you all are also helping with JEA. They're staging here as well. So you all are using the, they are using your site here to make sure that they're able to deploy out into the community. Yep. Nope. Um, JEA, Duke Energy, other um, restoration companies, they will use our facility as their base. Um, so they feed them here. They house them here. Um, sometimes they use local hotels. Um, so they're close and ready to go when necessary. All right. That's Sounds good. And so we have behind us, this is Rocky here. And Rocky is from St. John's County. And that just speaks to all of the people evacuating St. John's County and making sure that their horses are taken care of here. Yep. Nope. Um, we've got several locals. Um, and I'm very proud of them to know that their area floods and taking the necessary steps to be serious about their safety for their animals. Um, St. John's County, um, Yulee, things like that. They have brought them yesterday and some this morning to make sure that their animals are safe. Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much, you. Candace. And this just goes to speaks to the importance of making sure that the pets are safe as well. Horses are pets too, other animals. And so people are definitely taking heed to the notices that different officials across the state are warning people about, making sure you evacuate, and then also making sure that your animals are taken care of as well.